I want you to deliver a message to your people. Can you do that for me? Thank you. There's only one way to leave the KGB. Welcome to Screen Recaps, and today we're going to be recapping the movie Anna. The film opens with multiple undercover American operatives being killed in Moscow in 1985. Among them, a female agent is brought before the KGB director Vasilyov, who aims to send a chilling message to her superiors by delivering her severed head to the CIA headquarters. Fast forward five years, a man in Paris is scouting for potential models and discovers Anna, a Matryoshka doll seller whom he recruits. Once in Paris, Anna quickly encounters her booker Dorothy, agency head John, and fellow model Maud. Despite her lack of training, she secures an appointment with ease. Later at a dinner party, Anna is left alone by Maud, only to be approached by John and his associate, Oleg Falankov. Oleg, enamored by Anna's beauty, makes advances towards her, and eventually they engage in a passionate affair. Anna implores Oleg to be more transparent, leading him to disclose his involvement in arms trade to conflict-ridden nations. Subsequently, Anna retrieves a gun from the bathroom, silences it, and shoots Oleg dead. Flashback to three years earlier, Anna was in an abusive relationship with Pyotr. Desperate to flee her harsh reality, she attempted to join the Navy to no avail. Forced into a robbery with Pyotr and his friends, she pleaded with him to escape with her when the police appeared. Their subsequent car crash led Anna back to their apartment, where she encountered a mysterious man named Alex. Knocking Pyotr unconscious, Alex offered Anna a fresh start, recruiting her to work for the KGB. Following one year of military training and four years in the field, Anna would be released. Despite her initial resistance and self-inflicted injury, he encouraged her to believe in herself, prompting her to halt the bleeding and comply. Returning to 1990, Anna faces CIA interrogation regarding Oleg's assassination. She maintains visiting the hotel, supported by street camera footage, but asserts that she never met him, to which Agent Miller reveals the deletion of all hotel security tapes, hinting at the killer's expertise. Anna is permitted to leave. Six months earlier, Alex advances Anna, now a graduate of her academy, to Olga, a KGB department head. Initially doubtful of her capabilities, Olga assigns her a mission, targeting a man at a cafe, withholding information about potential bodyguards. Anna finds the gun unloaded, compelling her to improvise and successfully hit her mark. Despite completing the task, Olga departs, emphasizing the unexpected nature of trouble and assigning her a new task. Anna misses a dinner with Alex, who holds affection for her, as she delves into studying her new target. It turns out the Paris model scout was instructed by KGB operatives to locate Anna and bring her to Paris, where she embarked on a successful career as a top model. Her underlying mission was to eliminate Oleg. To avoid arousing suspicion, Olga encouraged her to form a relationship with Maud. Following Oleg's assassination, Anna employed a body double to erase the hotel's security tapes. Post her CIA interrogation, she contacts Olga from a public phone, reassuring her that she hasn't been followed. Olga announces her imminent return to Moscow. Alex pays her a visit, leading to a romantic encounter. Subsequently, Anna, Alex, and Olga meet with Vasilyev. While Olga suggests permanently assigning Anna to her team, Vasilyev, upon learning of Anna's desire for freedom after her five years of service, issues a chilling threat, stating that nobody retires from the KGB except by death. Disheartened, Anna heads to Maud's apartment in Paris, fabricating a heartfelt interaction with her family. Maud permits her to take a stroll. Anna reaches out to Alex, expressing her sorrow over her inability to attain the freedom she longs for within the KGB. Later on, Anna finds herself delayed for a photoshoot assignment. He abruptly departs the location following his threat to the photographer and then rendezvous with Olga for their next assignment. The target, named Württemberg, awaits her in a sweet void of any recording devices, rendering Olga unable to fully monitor her actions. Anna remains inside the suite for 12 minutes, longer than her typical duration. Instructed by Olga, she returns to the room to retrieve Württemberg's index finger and her wristwatch inadvertently left behind. Given her clouded state of mind, Olga suggests a week's vacation in the Bahamas with Maud for rejuvenation before handling any subsequent missions. Refreshed upon her return, Olga arranges for her trip back to Moscow, where she is due to meet with Vasilyev. 
Prior to the meeting, Anna clandestinely engages in another intimate moment with Alex in the storage room, with Alex exiting first. During the meeting, Vasiliev invites Anna to play chess, while Alex observes nearby, noticing Anna's suspicious hand movements. Suddenly, she draws a gun and fatally shoots Vasiliev in the head. Six months earlier, during her mission involving Württemberg, Anna discovers that her target is wearing a bulletproof vest, with a group of CIA officers awaiting her. Miller greets her and proposes that she work as a double agent in exchange for her freedom and protection after a year of service. He had been tracking her since noticing her distinct bag-holding manner. Anna agrees, aligning herself under the CIA's protection. While vacationing in the Bahamas, Miller checks up on her, prompting Anna to realize Olga is still monitoring her. They meet covertly, engaging in an intimate encounter even upon their return to Paris. Miller then tasks her with assassinating Vasiliev, who has been disrupting the delicate relationship between the KGB and the CIA. He reveals Vasiliev's history of killing five CIA agents under Miller's watch, one of whose decapitated head was sent to him. With a meticulous plan in place, Miller requires a Russian agent to carry out the assassination and promises Anna early retirement and freedom, along with personal extraction after the deed is done. Anna consents. Returning to the present after eliminating Vasiliev, she trains her gun on Alex and administers a sleeping potion. Extracting crucial files from Vasiliev's computer, she escapes, though Alex has already triggered the alarm. Miller, already waiting for Anna at her supposed exit, is driven out of the building. He comes to Maud, but she claims she has not been in any contact with Anna. Going back to New York, he is awarded as Vasiliev has been removed. Hopefully, the CIA's relationship with the KGB will be smoother. He then receives a message from Anna, telling him to meet her at a specific place. Turns out, Anna arranges a meeting between Miller and Alex with both men backed up by their respective organizations. She gives each of them information she stole from both the CIA and KGB, then bids her goodbye. Both men accept her farewell, even though Alex needs to process the situation. Olga, seeing Anna leaves from the security cameras, gets to her and tells her to not mess with the KGB, then shoots her dead. The shooting alerts both the CIA and KGB agents, causing them to assume attack positions before leaving the place. Three months earlier, when Anna met Olga for their routine checkups, Olga admitted that she knew Anna had been in contact with the CIA since Württemberg's mission, since she noticed cuff marks on her best assassin's wrists. She assured her that as long as Anna kept her updated on the CIA's plan, no one else would be privy to the situation. Upon learning of the organization's directive for Anna to eliminate Vasiliev, Olga inquired about Anna's deepest desire. With unwavering confidence, Anna responded, stating her longing for freedom. Olga pledged to grant her that freedom under the condition that Anna adhered to her instructions. Despite Miller's unsuccessful attempt to extract Anna following Vasiliev's assassination, Olga intervened and retrieved her. The purported shooting of Anna in the park turned out to be a ruse, as she was wearing a bulletproof vest and employed a body double to facilitate her escape. The body was swiftly covered and attended to by paramedics, preventing Miller and Alex from identifying her. Anna sought refuge in an underground tunnel, altering her appearance, seamlessly blending into the crowd, now unencumbered by her responsibilities. Sometime later, Olega, now appointed as Vasiliev's successor, enters the director's room and accesses Anna's database, receiving a video message. In the recording, Anna expresses her appreciation but reveals that she has preserved their last conversation wherein Olga confessed to supporting the CIA's plan to eliminate Vasiliev. She kept the recording as insurance, suspecting her boss might not uphold her promise, just as she had anticipated. With a smirk, Olga honors Anna's final request, deleting her identity from the KGB database. I thought I was done.